hello you're yeah, welcome to my channel today we'll be preparing okra soup here are my beef that is cow tail and shaki and this is tilapia fish that is okbaka in my dialect but is shredded oil beans and the other is shrimps this is my noi cubes seasoning cubes and here is my salt and this is the main thing the okra ladies finger and in here i have some red peppers two habanero pepper and some crayfish that i'll be blending later here is my red palm oil and finally this is my frozen spinach so let's begin so the first thing i'll do is i've added all the meat into this pot and i'm seasoning it with one of the seasoning cube i'll be adding in some salt and then enough uh, water enough of water just to the level of the meat when you want to start cooking your base matters a lot you know you always stay conscious and pay attention to your base the level of the water you are to add have to be of equal level with your meat so so while our meat is still boiling we are still cooking our meat i'll be putting this pan on a heat adding in enough red palm palm oil because i want to okay what i want to do here is basically I want to fry our okra a little so I want to fry the okra a little not really frying I just want to keep on mixing it in there with the oil until I get the consistency that I want to achieve now what I want to achieve is a slippery consistency you know what a drawing soup can give you it has to be drawing slippery that's my aim that's what i want to achieve here so i'm adding in my onions that i have chopped just stirring it a little and then I had to put on my lights because I found out it was too dark. So we are still on it. The onions is still on the fire. And then um, I'll be adding in the okra now. So now that I've added the okra, I'll just keep on stirring it until I achieve what I really want to achieve. You know what I mean if you are familiar with okra soup. If it's not drawing, it's not okra or obolo. So, so is the slipping we are looking at here for? So that's what's I want to achieve here I just go on and keep on stirring it turning it turning it inside there
so if you are familiar with this once again you will notice that we are getting it little we are almost there the consistency is coming what we are what we are getting is real now i'm adding in that red pepper and habanero and crayfish pepper i showed you earlier that i'll be blending so i've added it in just keep on stirring you can see it's beginning to turn out so well the color and the drawing the lupri consistency is coming around now we'll be adding our these strips we just begin to add the things little by little So, me achieving this slippery consistency, this drawing, this, it took me about six to seven minutes before I could achieve it. So, I think it depends all on the quantity of the okra that you use for your soup. Now, I'm just controlling our meat. To see if it has fully cooked the way I want it and I it has so what I'll be doing is that I'll be scooping it and putting the meat into the pot of okra now I could have poured it all into it but due to that we still have spinach and you know that spinach contains lots of water so I am taking my time and gauging and targeting it properly because I wouldn't want this soup to come out watering. So I prefer adding it little by little. So now that I've finished scooping the meat inside, I just added a little bit of the meat stock in there, turning it, and I'll be adding more when I see that is needed. So now I'll be adding in the okbaka, the one I showed you earlier, that's the shredded oil beans. I'll be adding it in there look if you know this soup you will understand what I'm really preparing if you are from my tribe you will understand so if you have tasted this kind of soup you will really know what I'm preparing if you have not if you have any means of getting all the ingredients you can as well prepare it like this and I bet you the results will, will be worth it this soup is so rich nutrient filled very well so i just added in a, some salt we'll be adding in the remaining seasoning cube remember i showed you two earlier this is the second one so i'm adding it in there And then I'll just turn it around, turn it. And then I'll cover it and leave it to boil. So after I covered it, I allowed it to boil and mix properly about five to six minutes. 
and then I will be adding in our tilapia fish. The tilapia fish, I fried it. If you know tilapia fish, you will know very well that it has a lot of bones inside it, which could be harmful. So it's better fried or grilled. So I fried mine before adding it in here. And then I'm adding in the spinach. If you have watched my other video where I prepared a soup with spinach, you know that I go through some process in spinach, trying taking out at least a little of the water in it, knowing spinach that it contains a lot of water. And not only that, the taste of it, we don't really buy it here in my family. So I try as much as I can to take out some of that water in it. So I've added in our reserve meat stock. You remember I left it aside before that if it's needed, I'll be adding it. So I just added it in here, turning it around and I'll be covering it and leaving it to boil for another two minutes. So after two minutes of allowing the whole of it come together, here it is, it's ready. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye.